So uh, as for the preparation to listen this teaching, learn that in order to transform all the action of listening this teaching into Mahayana path, which is which is the cause of enlightenment. In order to make it that, it's required to have a right motivation, which is normally in short we call bodhicitta. So, bodhicitta, here uh, we need to raise in this way for a moment that uh, starting from one's dearest and then trying to look in each and every sentient being him as a dearest one. And then if you have kind of like a uh, what say, looking them as a your dearest one and the best gift for them uh, is to give this ultimate happiness, which is the enlightened stage, uh, which is out of cyclic existence. Uh, so that will be the best gift if you consider, uh, if you consider that. Uh, them as a your dearest, and if you really want to give something uh, which is kind of like a perfect gift, then that perfect gift will be the enlightened or the awakened, removing all those ignorant, helping them to remove all ignorant is the best gift that you could provide to them and you could have for yourself as well. So therefore, and generate this kind of mind that for the sake of other living beings, that in order to lead them into in complete enlightenment, with that purpose, that I'm going to listening this Mahayana Sutra, and among the Mahayana Sutras, which is composed by Shantideva, during the 7th century uh, in Nalanda that uh, he taught this Bodhichare Avatara in Nalanda. So since then that the teaching or the text which is really help us to generate Bodhicitta 
and there are many different texts, but among the many of those texts, that this Buddha Avatara is recommended, highly recommended. So whoever willing to generate Bodhisattva, so highly recommended. Studied this Buddha Avatara, which is composed by Shantideva, which really can help us to understand uh, clearly this uh, Bodhisattva. And then, with that kind of intention, listen in this teaching, and then the actual teachings that mainly it talks about the Bodhisattva, and within this 10th chapter. And then 10th chapter can be summarized within four main categories. So, as I always say, this 10th chapter, first three chapters is to uh, is instructing us how to generate the Bodhisattva within oneself. And then the second three chapters, fourth, fifth, and sixth, three chapters, and really helps after we generate Bodhisattva and how to maintain without deteriorating the Bodhisattva or without letting uh, degenerate to maintain and it is those guidance instructions are provided in this middle three chapters uh, middle or the second three chapters and then the third three chapters which is seven eight and nine and not just uh, maintaining and these three chapters helping us and how to improve that enhance the ones on Bodhisattva which is already regenerated and which we already maintaining so that which we just maintaining not only that but also how to enhance or how to improve that Bodhisattva and that can start during those uh, kind of like a middle three like a middle or sometimes some kind of like third categories like those uh, seven, eight, and nine chapters instruct that. And then the last chapters, and then after we completed in, in hands or the uh, completed, improved this Bodhisattva, then that, uh, say, Shantideva's guidings then dedicate all those merit, which is um, kind of like a, not so difficult to understand. So now, among the, these four ten chapters can be summarized within these four categories. Head, categories. The main bodhicharya or tas. This is the main kind of theme or the subject 